while we are determining the income, we have to understand that the two basic facts or two basic pillars are the aggregate demand and the aggregate supply. Now when we talk of the aggregate demand, this means the total demand of the goods and services in the economy is called as the aggregate demand. That is whatever is required by all the individuals in the economy is called as aggregate demand. When we talk of aggregate demand, there are say some components which are very very important to be included. And the first of all is the household consumption. Household consumption means whatever every house consumes is termed as the household consumption demand. And in this we have to understand that there is something called as the propensity to consume. That is to say my income allows me to consume at a particular level. If the income is more, I will be able to consume more. If my income is less, then it is going to be less. So that is the propensity to consume. But the first fact I said or the first on which we have to rest our aggregate demand is the household consumption. That is all that goods and services which are required consumed by the households. The second is the private investment. Private investment means all the private firms, industries, factories, manufacturing units which have a demand of like the machinery, the buildings, the computers that comes under the private investment demand. The third of its kind is the government demand. Whatever goods and services are required are demanded by the government is the government demand. It could be for building roads, bridges and so on. But all this comes under the aggregate demand. And then is the net export. Net export means export minus import. That is to say how much we have exported, how much is the requirement of other countries towards our goods minus what we have taken from other countries is the net export of a country. So it is not that I have exported say 1000 tons of something but I have also imported say 300 tons. So my net export will be 7000 tons. So here when I talk of the aggregate demand of an economy, I talk about the household consumption, its capacity, its how much can it consume, then the private investment demand and the government demand and lastly the net export. This all factors will together make up what we call as the aggregate demand of an economy.